This video demonstrates my personal home entertainment system. It was developed for my own use and has been in operation in one form or another for over 10 years. There are no visible wires, boxes or the usual collection of remotes. Avid's novelty is a single uniform interface for TV, radio, recordings, Sky TV, stored music, Spotify, photo albums and streamed content. All control is through a browser running on the touch device, a phone or a tablet, Apple, Android or Windows, whatever comes to hand. The Avid system runs on a hidden Windows PC. It makes use of a number of commercial programs, each chosen as best of breed for its task. But the Avid software itself is freely available with an open source license. Let's start with the simple task of watching TV. This uses the DVB Viewer program. Selecting TV on the Avid control page turns on the TV screen and routes the sound to the surround speakers. The TV pages on the remote now show a list of available channels, with the favourites first, on the left hand side and all controls and information about what is playing on the right. You can change channel and pause or resume what is currently playing. A number of controls act via the DVB viewer on screen display, but that is rarely needed in normal usage. Along the top of every screen is a colour coded bar, with a colour indicating what kind of content is playing. So every screen has the same buttons to control the volume and to stop playing altogether. On a tablet it also has the buttons to select between different players, but on a phone with its smaller screen these player buttons are on, are on a separate home page. Similarly, each of the players has either a wide view for a tablet or paged views for use with a phone. So on a phone the channels list, playing information and control buttons are all on separate pages. Listening to radio is similar to watching TV and also uses DVB viewer. But in this case, the TV screen remains off, the sound is routed to the hi-fi speakers in multiple rooms, and of course the channel list shows radio channels instead. DVB Viewer has good support for program guides and reliable background recording, so the Guide option allows programs to be selected and scheduled to be recorded at a future time. Programs can be recorded individually, or as a series, and schedule timers and series can be listed and deleted. Once a TV program is recorded, the video player lets you watch it. This does not use DVB Viewer, but instead runs Zoom Player. You can list available recordings and display the details of any you select. Playing a recording offers the usual transport controls and feedback on the remote screen. The video player also plays DVDs, whether ripped onto a hard disk library or real physical DVD discs. When watching a DVD, the Avid controls dynamically adapt to whether the DVD is showing a menu or playing content, allowing easy DVD menu navigation. As an alternative to the built-in TV capability, I also have an external Sky satellite set-top box. This is also totally controlled by Avid. The Sky Player presents a very similar set of controls to that for TV, showing what is playing on each channel and allowing you to change channel and to pause, resume or seek to the playing content. If the Sky Box has recordings, which Avid does not offer the ability to schedule, then you can list, select, examine, play or delete those, just like for video. The controls for Sky are rather different from those for other players. Tapping anywhere on the control pad pauses or resumes playback. A press and hold on the control pad seeks forwards or backwards, sliding the finger to the left or right, seeking faster or slower. Releasing then immediately pauses, ready to resume play or seek further. In practice this touchpad control is very effective. Music stored in the Avid library is played by J River Media Centre program. 
Again, the look of the music player is very similar to that of other players, offering a library of available music to select from, a queue of playing tracks, and display of what is playing. Like radio, the TV screen remains off and the sound is routed to the hi-fi speakers. In addition to playing stored music, Avid has its own custom Spotify player and this is controlled by the Spotify pages which are almost identical to those for stored music. The major difference is that the library selects from the My Music of a Spotify account or lets you search for artists, albums or tracks. Digital photo albums, which are folders of images, can be browsed and presented on the TV screen. You can select the images from thumbnails on the remote, advance through those set of images, and when viewing an image, you can zoom and pan. Finally, if these are not enough content options, Avid offers streaming, either through a Roku stream box, which I use for Now TV, iPlayer, for all catch up etc chromecast which is useful for youtube or my tv screen own samsung smart tv uh, streaming hub which i use for amazon prime or curzon there's a lot more capability than is shown in this quick video but you should have got the idea of what it's all about i hope you found it interesting